Hello, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Marco here for another Zyker's reaction. Today, you're going to get a two for one because I'm going to be reacting to two of their brand new videos. We begin with their official comeback title track, Do or Die. And then we're going to get into their performance video for Kung, which came out just before Do or Die. I'm still brand new to this group, so I'm still trying to get everybody's names down. We have Minjae, Junmin, Soomin. Jinchik, Hyunwoo, Jungun, Seyun, Yujin, Hunter, and Yi Chan. Right? I apologize to all the members if I got any of their names wrong. I apologize to them and their mothers. <laughs> Guys, let's get into this. If you enjoyed today's video or my content in general, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me all the comments. I love reading them, interacting with you guys, and of course, learning so much from you as well. Any questions that I might have during this reaction, please help me answer them in the comments below let's do this let's do do or die do i keep thinking of oh my god i keep thinking of the new six with love or die when i think of do or die <laughs> zykers baby do or die and here we go i got my coffee i got my coffee oh Are they reviving this zombie? What the? Uh, that's so cool. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, part of the band? The crown. It's a hat. Oh my god, this is like blockbuster. Memories. Love his hair. Oh my god, the colors. Wow. House of Tricky. Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh, I love the shaved head. We don't see a lot of that in K-pop music videos. No, we don't. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I love his hat. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, or die. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> not the sound I was expecting. Absolutely not. There is a lot going on in such a short amount of time. We're going to go through this again. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Did not expect that. I love this whole setting in the DVD store here, which is meant to resemble Blockbuster with the yellow and blue coloring because those were the Blockbuster colors. I... I should know. I should know because I used to work at Blockbuster for six years of my life. And to this day, still my favorite job that I've had. Still my favorite job that I had. Number one. Of all the jobs I've had, Blockbuster was number one and still is number one. <laughs> wow. The memories, the memories. And it's so crazy because it's not like it was so long ago and it's like I, I romanticized the past. No, 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 no. There was some really... There was a lot of bullshit moments that happened in my life during that era as well. I'm, I'm, look, I know that nostalgia can be a lie. A lot of times we create the fantasy of how we romanticize the past, right? But everything becomes nostalgia. This right here, right now, is going to become the past. We're going to look back on it with fond memories, uh, even though it might not be the greatest of times in the moment, in real time. But uh, my years at Blockbuster as tumultuous as they were in my life, some of my best years as well, I will say. Absolutely. And I remember so many moments as if they happened yesterday. Crazy. So whenever I see them utilize Blockbuster or anything kind of resembling Blockbuster in a music video, it takes me right back to those days. I just fucking love it. They're kind of playing off nostalgia with even having a video store in this music video, even though the music video itself is extremely modern uh, with the style. I mean, the sound itself, I guess, can harken back to something that's really pop, uh, rock punk, I would say. And uh, I mean, that's what they're going for here in sound and in, in look, but with modern day K-pop aesthetics, I would say. How funny that I should wear such a shirt, such a shirt from a classic <laughs> B movie, horror B movie, slumber party massacre. And <laughs> oh, we're talking about the past here with a video store. And we have zombies. Okay. I, uh, okay. Okay. They're like beating the zombies and then reviving the zombies. And then everybody's dancing with the zombies. <laughs> Let's get into this. I'm not quite sure about the song yet. I think I have to listen to the song all on its own without the visuals to really pinpoint where everything is kind of mapped out with the chorus, the pre-chorus, the verses, the bridge, intro, outro, all the tros. <laughs> so let's get into this one more time, do or die. So they're playing a video game or they're in a video game. So it says Zombieland, which is a movie itself, right? Capture zombies hearts, okay. Oh, that's probably why they were reviving the zombie. And I love when they were reviving the zombie and the heartbeat became the image of the electric guitar on the monitor. That was so good. I didn't even drink my coffee, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. I think this is the first time I've heard them actually say their name. Have they said their names before in maybe some of their B-sides from their debut EP. Maybe they have. I haven't listened to it. Guys, let me know. Psychos! Three, go! This whole part, hey, let's go. Is that what he says? Hey, let's get crazy. Hey, let's go crazy. The, the way that he's singing, like the melody of it, uh, it reminds me of, hey, how's it go? How's that cheerleading chant go? Hey, Nikki, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Nikki. Is it Nikki? I don't know if I, is that even the right name or was it ricky hey ricky you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind hey ricky hey hey, hey ricky <laughs> i don't know bro i was never a cheerleader so i don't know but that's what this is remind me of just the beginning here hey ricky you're so fine you're so fine <laughs> you know i remember once upon a time people said that uh you couldn't be able to dance to music like this yes you fucking can they're doing it a million other K-pop artists have done it to the sound as well before them, right? Yeah, yes, fucking K. If you know how to dance, then you can follow a melody. You can follow a string of notes and you can make it work. 
And these guys know how to fucking dance. <laughs> oh! This is why I gotta listen to the song all by itself. Do or die, that do or die, that crack or high note in his voice. Who, who is this one? I do or die. Bop. Or die. I love his hair with all the different colors. I love the makeup. I love their makeup and the zombies' makeup, just to make that clear. <laughs> love the effects. Oh, I love this. So they do. Oh, this is so cute. Because they have the guy down. And they're like, like being threatening, but look at them smiling. And then I don't know who he is with the necklace. And he's like smiling and <laughs> it's like, it's okay. We might kill you, but I mean, we like you too. And we can be friends afterwards if we revive you. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, green hair. Love that, love that. Oh, huh. so they're plugging in the amplifiers. Okay, yeah. Or die. Freaky, freaky, whoa, 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 whoa. His hat is insane. Insane, this hat. And I do like the fact that it's actually cut out behind because it could have just been like the dome is covered, but it's cut out and you know it's a hat because you can see the brim behind. It almost looks like it's like made of cotton. I don't think I've seen anybody wear a hat like this. Oh, and it looks like that he, wait, does he work at the video store too? Does he, is this my guy with the purple hair? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple is my favorite color, guys. Purple is my favorite color, guys. Oh, I, th I think he works and he's waking up and uh, yeah, never did that. Never did that. I mean, did I ever? I don't, mm, not going to tell on myself though. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, that edit. He has his arm out. Ooh. I love the orange in his hair. His hair is actually turning colors, is it not? It's like blonde here and then orange. Uh, ah, orange? And then it's like blonde? What? Is everybody trying to get in? They want to eat them? See, the zombies want to go in and eat them. I just want tickets. <laughs> I mean... I love the colors in his hair. Oh. Yeah, posters of like do or die and... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do or die and I think some of the members, Tricky House, are all over the walls there. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Ooh, or die. I love that effect, that like radio static effect that's used on his voice. Is there like a specific term for that? I always love that when it's used. Go. Uh. Or die. Uh. Uh. Or die. Is this a zombie? Are they doing like the zombie? Is this like uh, pure Michael Jackson here? Oh, I didn't notice that. They're like doing zombie movements. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Die. Love this. Yeah. Crazy. 
Never had anybody break dancing in my store though, I gotta say. <laughs> and I've had a lot of crazy people come into the store. <laughs> So who is, okay, who is this person? Because we focus a bit on this person here that has a shave tag. Yeah, this person right here. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to assume they've, they've probably been in a lot of other stuff. Usually if there's a background actor who or dancer who is being filmed and focused on, it's usually because they've done other work and appear in other projects so i don't know who this person is but i love the fact that they have a buzz cut because we do not see a lot of that in k-pop music videos they love to style hair in k-pop right but here has very little hair to style and that's okay because that's part of the aesthetics that's part of the style right and i love it two one two three go Whoa! Freak it, freak it! Whoa! 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 I love how they're actually dancing too. Is that like, is that, oh, is that hitting on the drum? The drumstick is hitting. Whoa! 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 Do you wanna die? Freak it, freak it! And just to cut to this, do or die, that's crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah, I do like the song a little more now having listened to it twice. And uh, the more I listen to it, of course, I think I'm, the more I'm going to like it. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I did not expect them to do this type of sound. So right on. I love surprises. <laughs> so I think Min Jae was the one who had the orange on his hair and it kept turning blonde when they were cutting back and forth. I believe, and then Sumin, I believe, is the one with the green hair, I think, yeah? I can't tell who has the purple hair based off of these photos here. Okay, let's get into the Kung performance video. Is this gonna be the same type of sound as Do or Die? I don't know. I think when I save this in my watch later list, I felt like it was gonna be like something noisy and danceable and just, crazy which we just got but i don't know if it's gonna be like punk rock crazy <laughs> let's find out kung performance video psychers here we go fuck it up yeah. excuse me No, you stay, you stop, everybody wait right there. We're going to do this again. We're going to do this again. We're going to do this again. We have an umbrella. We have an umbrella. This is actually what I was expecting. This right here. This. Like this is exactly what I was expecting. And I thought maybe we we're going to get something like this for Do or Die because that's a title track. But this, this, this. What does kung mean? What does this mean? Kung kung? Oh, we have purple hair over there. Okay, okay. What does what what does kung kung? <laughs> what does that mean? Love. Love. Look how he comes comes out of the umbrella and he's like, eh, and then he drops the facade. He drops the smile. Watch, 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 watch. And then he drops it because he means business. Smile. 
Smile, no smile. Serious. Business. I love how they have the two screens in the back there just to give the background some activity. Oh my god, the lights in the windows are orange. Okay, sorry. Habidi babidi oh yeah. Habidi 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 ba 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 ba. <laughs> Read my mind. Oh, oh. Wow, wow. I love that. I love that. This little interaction. This umbrella. Shoom. Boom. Oh my god! <laughs> right. Oh shit! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. The O's look like a chain. A chain, bro. That is so sick. Uh, it's the simple things. It's the simple things that get me. You know what I'm saying? And that's simple and it gets me. This got me. Holy f I think I like this more than do or die. That I just that, that's it. That's all. I think I like it more than do or die. And that's not to say the genre of sound that do or die is is one that I don't like, I don't appreciate, I haven't listened to a lot. I have. I, I've listened to many a genre throughout my life. Uh, and it's not that I listen to this type of music more. Comparing the two specific songs, I think I like this one more. This was a crazy performance video. We're going to do this one more time. What I loved about this in terms of its sound is that it goes hard, but it's still, for the most part, I think, a bit mid-tempo, right? But it's not until we get to the very last chorus here where everything starts to rev up. And it's almost, and you don't realize it, I think, until we get to the last section of the song here, that the mid tempo ness of the song is kind of leading you towards this buildup. And you don't really know that. You feel, or you think, at least I did, that the entire song was going to sound the way it sounded for the majority of this song and then we get to this very last part and it's like oh shit we're kicking it up a notch now 
<laughs> we just went crazy. <laughs> That's what you call a payoff. This is a payoff. And the great thing about this song is that you don't know that there's going to be a payoff at the end. You just think that you're along for the ride and you're waiting for it to finish. Not that you're not enjoying yourself. I mean, I was enjoying myself, but you love the way it sounds. And then at the very end, when it kicks up, when everything revs up a bit, it's like, whoa, there's a payoff to this? So good. So good. They had me at Umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Even that, yeah. It's so, like, lazy. It's so lazy sounding. And I think that's intentional. See, the more lazy it sounds in the beginning the more hype everything sounds at the end. Because when you look back on it, you feel like you just went on this little journey with this little song. <laughs> so good. And this umbrella is reminding me of pure penguin vibes. Penguin from <laughs> Batman with his umbrella. Sometimes he'll twirl the umbrella because sometimes like in a lot of the comics or TV series, cartoons, the penguin will spin his umbrella around and because of its design, its black and white design with the stripes, it's meant to hypnotize you, or he uses it as a gun. He just starts shooting everybody up. <laughs> but that's the vibe I'm getting with this umbrella. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. Cool. I'm trying to see if there's an edit here when the umbrella is spinning, because I know there's a light that, there's an edit, I feel, yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. It actually, they cut, and then they start filming again at this part when he steps away from the umbrella. So there's an edit between, there you go. And what they did to try to hide the edit is they tried to, instead of a sharp edit, they tried to make it smooth or fade into the next shot. And because the umbrella is spinning, it hides the edit, it hides that cut rather well. Very nice, very nice, okay. <laughs> And then the lightning, bang the thunder, Woo. electric shock. Is he purple hair that I pointed out in uh, Do or Die? Is that him? I love his voice. It's this like really high pitched, nasally. He does a better job of it than I do. Uh, everyone's voice is going to be different, right? So the way he does it is the way he does it my apologies if i'm wrong he's the only one i see that has that same hair color i love this guy i just realized i just fucking realized i just fucking realized no i think it is so where they're performing outside uh, this low level complex off to the side here. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could see this shot here. So I, I could be wrong, but I feel like based off the door, the windows, this complex, I feel like this is where BI, Mr. King Hanbin himself, y'all know my fave. Yeah, you do. I feel like this is where he shot his music video for keep me up when he's dancing outside with the graffiti, the other dancers and there's that low level complex behind him. I feel like this is the exact same building. I could be wrong, but even the buildings off in the distance, I think match the buildings in his video. I don't know. Guys, let me know. Let me know. Somebody investigate, let me know. Because if that's the case, we've never seen what the other side of this area looks like. And we're seeing it now with this building and its orange lights. <laughs> Shout outs to everybody who helped answer some of my questions in the first reaction I did for Zykers, uh, telling me that they are playing in their concept Korean goblins. So I guess that's where all this lightning is coming from because they do possess powers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. See, this is 
So that's not really, I mean, I said the song is kind of mid-tempo. This goes hard. The chorus goes hard. But we don't know how hard it's going to get until the end. I love that. I love the use of auto-tune because even the way he's rapping, shung, shung. it's not like shung, shung, like they're chanting. It's to contrast the chanting because they're going shung, shung, and he's going shung, shung. So while they're all hyperactive with shung, shung, he's, and I don't know his name, my apologies, but I do recognize him from the other videos. Uh, he is more, again, lazily with the shung, shung. So it contrasts the shung, shung that the rest of them are doing. And the auto-tune just does nothing but help, help that sound. <laughs> and then this, this note. Love that. Fancy, you can't take your eyes off me? Is that? <laughs> Wild fancy. Can't take your eyes off me. Love that, love that, love that. Hey. I keep trying to grab my copy, but I can't. <laughs> I love this interaction here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they perform this with an actual umbrella when they do a live stage? See, I, I, I see, I love this move. And they go like this, because it, it just reminds me of a stretch. I'm, I'm big on stretching. I stretch every morning and I stretch every night. So I'm really big on stretching to keep my mobility in check. So when I see a move like this, all I can think of is stretching. Even at work, like I'm stretching all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Insane. Insane. Oh, that bee almost sounds like a helicopter. The propeller? Wait. It's coming. It's like a propeller. Show, show, show. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck it up, Boom. baby. Crazy, 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 crazy. I loved this. I loved this. And yes, I loved it more than do or die. And I like do or die. I just loved this. You know, I don't like to give things a numeric rating unless it's like in written form if I'm typing something out and I'm using that as a review. But as a video review, because to me, it seems like it's more conversational. I don't like to marry myself to a numeric rating but if i had to if i had to do or die to me out of 10 would be like six and a half maybe seven six and a half or seven uh kung is this is like 9.5 9 or 9.5 i would say i would say yeah that's where i stand with this guys what did you think of these two songs, Do or Die or Kung, or the performance video for Kung, or the music video for Do or Die, let me know in the comments below. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending all this time with me as I check out some more Zykers 
here on my channel. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll speak again real soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>